This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this dripping text effect using Inkscape. And in order to follow along with this tutorial, I would recommend using a font that has a very uh, whimsical style to it, like a very like a, a like a natural whimsical nature, kind of like this font here. If you'd like to use this specific font, it's called Milkshake. It's a free download. I'll put a link to that in the description of the video. Just make sure to install it before you open up Inkscape, and we'll be good to go. Otherwise, you can you could technically use this technique with any font you'd like. So uh, I'll go ahead and get started here with Inkscape. I'm just going to set up our documents that we're all working with a similar view. I'll go to File, Document Properties. I want the uh, display units to set to pixels and I want to turn off the visibility of the page border. And we can close out of that. Uh, we're going to go to View. We want Custom Selected. I'll go to Zoom 1 to 1. And then I'll open up the Align and Distribute menu with this button over here. We're going to want Last Selected chosen from that dropdown. And then I'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button there. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create some text. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the uh, text tool over here, Create and Edit te uh, Text Objects. Click on that. Click on the canvas. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to write Drip. But you could write whatever you'd like. Uh, I'm going to open up the text editor so we can change the font. Uh, the font I am looking for is uh, Milkshake, but again, like I said, you could use whatever font you'd like. Go ahead and click Apply. I'm going to grab the Select tool and just hold Control and Shift and scale that up like that. And now I want to change this from a text object to a vector path. So I'm going to go to Path, Object to Path, and then ungroup it with the Ungroup button up here, and it's going to separate it into different individual letters. So we can click off of that to deselect everything. So I'm going to turn off the uh, snapping where it says enable snapping up here. I'm going to turn that off just for the duration of this tutorial. And I'm just going to bring this letter D over to the right a little bit so that it's it looks like it belongs as a part of the word there. And what we're going to do in order to create the dripping text effect is we're going to use the edit paths by nodes tool. And if you click on that and if you select one of the letters, you'll notice you have all these different nodes in here. And what you want to do is just bring your cursor over to the general area where you'd like to apply a drip and select two nodes. Like right here, I'm going to select those two nodes. I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see it better. I'm going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in. Click and drag over two nodes like that and then click this button right here that says insert new nodes into selected segments. And it's going to insert a new node in there. Now I'm going to click on just that node so just that one selected. And I'm going to hold control and just click and drag that down like that. And once I've done that, I'm going to take these handles right here and I'm going to hold control so that it locks onto the vertical, I mean the horizontal axis like that and just bring this out like that. And again, I'll come over here holding control, bring this one out like that. And then I want to come up here to where this node is. I want to hold control and bring that handle to the right like that. And you want to make sure the handle stays parallel with the opposite handle. You don't want it going up like that or down like that. You want to make sure it's parallel with its opposite handle. Otherwise, you won't get this smooth dipping effect as you see here. And I'm going to do the same thing with this node over here. Just hold control. Just bring this to the left. And if you zoom out, you see, if you just temporarily go back to the select tool and click off it, you can see we added a little bit of a drip there. And what we could do now is go through the rest of these letters and just do the same thing over and over again. So let me go back to the Edit Pass by Nodes tool. Click on this object. I'm going to create a new node between these two nodes right here. If you want to select several nodes, click and drag over one of them, then hold shift and click and drag over the other. And again, just insert a new node in there. Click on just this node, then hold control and bring it down like that. Hold control, bring these handles out horizontally like that. And take these handles and just bring them in. So you end up with a smooth fluid line like that. And that right there is what we're looking for. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Select this node, hold shift, select the other node, insert a new node, hold control, bring this down. Take these handles out like that, bring those handles in. Make sure that the, the handle is running parallel with the opposite handle like that. And there you go. You could even add another, you could add like a slighter one in here, like a slightly, uh, just like that, a slight dip. And as you can see, we've created our dripping effect. Now you could just go through the rest of these letters and do the same thing. For example, I'll come over here and apply a drip to this, to these two nodes down here at the tip of this letter D. And 
You take that node, bring that in, bring that down a little bit. And that right there, I'd say, looks pretty good. And that should pretty much give you an idea. You can go through the entire word and just apply this to all of the letters individually. And you know, by the time you're done, you'll have accomplished this dripping text effect with Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.